But I ain't shit. I ain't never gonna be shit. And you less of a man than me, so soon as I decide that you ain't gonna be shit. Damn. So be it. You remember that, motherfucker? Remember that shit. Cause I'm the one y'all need to be worried about. Mackie and Mack, you all. I'm just a ghetto bastard going hard Every day I pray to God Never let me be a fraud Let my words be my bond If I fall, let me rise Seeing through these hazel eyes Help me keep them on the prize While we at it, free the guys New off, you probably shrink the streets So they'll take you under Who will the politicians come to help? I always wonder You out here popping pills and pistols Man, your days is numbered The fall and winter's wild But man, we got some crazy summers Did you be sipping lean Causing havoc, rolling stolies They don't play hockey But they usually keep a goalie mask This ain't the 80s Keep them hands They would rather blast They test your metal With that metal Please be up the task They hit the club to party Prefer blue shots to shop Desensitize the violence Not surprised when pistols pop This madness gotta stop No need to die for guap This ain't a milk or simple smith I shot my crooked cop We drown ourselves in loud Percocets and liquor We keep a mean nice grill Finger on the trigger All in all I recall When black lives mattered But here's the thing Dr. King's dreams Bruce and Mr. Ghetto Bastard going hard Every day I pray to God Never let me be a fraud Words be my bond. If I fall, let me rise. Seeing through these hazel eyes, help me keep them on the prize. While we at it, free the guys. Just a ghetto bastard going hard. Every day I pray to God. Never let me be a fraud. Let my words be my bond. If I fall, let me rise. Seeing through these hazel eyes, help me keep them on the yeah. prize. While we at it, free the guys. Sound more of a problem if your aura is found. Remember now, I was hell bound, fatherless child, animal planet. The animals are part of me now. When you young and hungry, and all you can do is just growl. When you hug your man, but his brains all on the The price of down a sacrifice for the crown. You a threat to the system, no. If you intelligent, a target. Cause of your carbon and dark melanin. Rather Kanye, cause they never gonna let felons in. Paper so long, you can laugh at puffs. And you ain't gotta chase the bag when the bag chase us. When you rhyme like a combination of some hash and dust. And can hire shooters to clap from a massive truck. Rules to learn for your whole lifespan is up. When your mind frame is game, you surpass the luck. I'm just a ghetto bastard going hard. Every day I pray to God. Never let me be a fraud. Let my words be my bond. If I fall, let me rise. Seeing through these hazel eyes. Help me keep them on the prize. While we at it, free the guys. Ever since the beginning, the dominators winning. Superiority, arguably the key to living. The history of man, a history of war. To me, the mystery is more intriguing than the bleeding. Speeding to an end is grim, the way it's been. Only way to course correct, show more respect. Can't explore what's left without the death of ego. People needing a stroke, fronting like your amigo. I don't believe those menace suits, sending troops overseas to oversee. We involved overly, explosively taking out, bullshitting, faking out. Reasons beyond believing, we chief and they catch us sleeping. Ain't one for dreaming, forget them historically, metaphorically speaking. They drown in the deep end. You don't get the message, ain't the text I can't resend. You probably wasn't ready for the realness. We I'm pen. just a ghetto bastard going hard. Every day I pray to God, never let me be a fraud. Let my words be my bond. If I fall, let me rise. Seeing through these hazel eyes, help me keep them on the prize. While we at it, free the guys. Just a ghetto bastard going hard. Every day I pray to God, never let me be a fraud. Let my words be my bond. If I fall, let me rise. Seeing through these hazel eyes, help me keep them on the prize. While we at it, free the I'm guys. I'm just a ghetto king spitting bars. Everything I've written's hard. You want to quote, check the digits on the business card. Every day I pray to God for health, wealth, to stay at large. I know this world, I've seen them strings. Like I play I'm just a ghetto king spitting bars. Everything I've written's hard. I played the game, man. These lames got some hidden cards. Every day I pray to God, protect the sacred art. Every time they fake the part, it's like they try to take I'm my heart. I'm just a ghetto bastard going hard. Every day I pray to God, never let me be a fraud. Let my words be my bond. If I fall, let me rise. Seeing through these hazel eyes, help me keep them on the prize. While we at it, free the guys. Yeah, so it was really nice to catch him like kind of at the beginning of his work and we'll be working. He's already worked on another video for me that will be eventually coming out. Um, but then also um, just, I just admire his work. Everybody that's on that track from the, from the videographer to the other, to the artist that I have rhyming with me, I respect everybody thoroughly from an artistic standpoint. So yeah, it's just an awesome experience. Hell yeah. For sure, man. It's amazing. Um, what I'm really tripping out on is how you have managed to go from, you know, you got your your apparel, you're doing that, you got your production, you know, you're already a true connoisseur of hip hop. You keep it 
completely uplifting. I was talking to Rabbit about it earlier and I was like, it's, it's inspiring. You know what I'm saying? It's uplifting. He drops knowledge, but then you can also have fun with it and seriously just laugh at, you know, himself, a situation. I mean, when I'm having a bad day, I go on to Marvelous. I watch that. <laughs> it's just like, and isn't that, <laughs> isn't that part of the original concept of hip hop though? I mean, it's based on competition and all that, but it's, it's to have fun. You know what I mean? So that's dope. I mean, Rab Rabito, you hit it right on the head, brother. Um, Grandmaster Flash, Spoony G, um, Funky Four Plus One. It was all about competition, but it was also about the party. Like the 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 serious side, the gangster side. I really, I have to say that it really didn't pop up until Grandmaster Flash, till Melly Mel and Duke Booty wrote uh, the message. When they when they wrote the message, kind of like the paradigm kind of shifted, and it went off into where you know it went off into a, a, a different realm as far as lyric, lyrics were concerned and subject matter was concerned. But um, before all of that- you said um, Sedgwick there, Avenue that, was about a party. It was about a party. Her, her, Sedgwick, yeah, baby. Right? Her, her created, to that. I, I, absolutely, let's have a shot to that. Her, her told me personally, he said he created, a, he created, he created hip hop to save people from killing themselves. Like in the Bronx at the time, in the Bronx, um, it, was, it was a gang war. Um, and the Bronx was burning. And so he was just trying to save teenagers and, and young young adults from killing themselves in, in gang warfare. And so he created a safe space where people could come and party regardless of uh, race, age, creed, whatever. As long as you had um, a, a, a party mind state, um, you, you was welcome. So I, I'm just trying to be a continuation of that, like take it back to the original essence, but, but still be able to, like Danny alluded to earlier, still being able to drop to drop jewels, serious jewels, like we just, we just, y'all just, when y'all just dropped the ghetto bastard, that's completely serious. There's no party in that. It's three different standpoints, the Bronx, Queens, and Milwaukee, AKA Kareem City. But then, you know, Marvelous is a whole different, a 180 on that. Marvelous is completely have a good time, party, and yeah, I'm just glad y'all like it. I love it. I'm glad y'all love it. I love it too. Hey, I got a. Where I, did you come up with the concept of the mass? <laughs> Hip -hop well, she happens, rap man. She, she happens to be in here right now. I mean, I've always had aspirations of being a superhero, but Leah Palmer, I give her all the credit. Like Leah was like, I, I was like, I want to be a superhero. So I'm the one that said, I want to be a superhero. But Leah is the one like, well, if you got to go, if you're going to be a superhero, you got to go full regalia. Like you got to do the cape, you got to do the mask, you got to do everything. So Leah actually helped me put rap man together and helped me bring him uh, to the world to the point where I looked at it and I was like, you know what, we really got something here. So I never take credit from hey. people that, you know, when people do something, I always give them the credit. And Leah is the, Leah is the one that was like, I came up with rap, man. I, I'm the one that coined the term rap, man. But in terms of what you see visually, when you look at that mask and you look at that cape and that Sugar Hill, like Leah was like, let's do this, let's do that. And then at first I was just gonna rock the hoodie. And Leah was like, no, nah, babe, you gotta have, a, you have to have, a, you have to have, a, uh, you have to have a cape. Hell yeah! Shout out to Leah, man. She's an amazing uh, person. Uh, Seriously Leah. worthy of an interview, Rabbit. Like hey. Leah is on point, dude. She's a definition of a true female boss. That she runs it. Together. She runs the bag. She is a true hip hop head. Homegirl has more Adidas than anybody I've ever met in my life. Oh She's my constantly God. listening to music, so I love that. <laughs> Antoine Mac here has the support of someone like Leah, you know, in his corner because she's amazing. Hey, Danny, what's up? I'm sorry, Rob, but I, I put the costume on. When I put the costume on, I was like, I was like, all of a sudden, I was like, I'm rap, man. <laughs> And it came through in the in the video too, which we're gonna get to in a sec. But hey, I wanted to I wanted to ask because I mean um, something relatable that I could find. Um, you know, I I've been doing this stuff for a long time too, and and uh, seasoned, I guess you could say, might be the word. But I could tell that um, you uh, you could still find a way. Which what we try to do with the B side is bridge that gap between you know the the classic stuff and then the up and coming artists and and i could tell that you um you still find a way that you you could reach 
the youth. It's not like like you have music. Uh, obviously, it's it's uh, more for the mature ear, but you can still find a way to reach younger audience and that and i could tell that and that and that's a dope thing it's a powerful thing brother what do you what do you think about that man i mean you hit it on the head you spot on with that brother and that um when i jump back into this because this is like a five-year plan i've been in this before like i my my, my first group Kali tribe in 93 uh we we were the first rap group from milwaukee to ever be on black entertainment television with a video I also was sampled on Shaquille O'Neal's first album. If you go listen to a song called Hate to Brag, produced by my, by my brother, Def Jeff, he's, Shaquille and Def and Jeff sampled my group, Kali Tribe, on that. So all that to say this, I've always been a what? student in the game. Oh, that's facts. That's facts. Yeah, that's facts. But, um, but um, coming back into the game, when I came back into the game, Rabito, I, I, I looked at it like this. I don't want to alienate anybody because... I remember in 88 having a high top fade and acid wash jeans. 88, time to super. set it straight. You know what I'm saying? I remember being a youngster with my high top fade in my parts and people was like, and I was taking records and going and making my beats and people was like, why are you scratching up those records? Why is your hair so tall? Why, what's, what's up? why are you always in those sneakers? Like, what's your issue? And so when you fast forward to the two t- 2020, the, they have their own way. They have they, they call it a wave. They have their own way. And this is their era. I don't have time to be criticizing people. I'm instead of criticizing them, I just get in my own bag, and I hope that they'll be receptive. And thus far, it's been very. They've been very receptive. In that, um, you take a, a, a artist like Ishdar and a record like Can't Quit, which is a, a part of my my, my my catalog. Ishdar is um, one of the up and coming youngsters in the game. He's been in the movie White Boy Rick with Matthew McConaughey. If you go watch Matthew McConaughey, look for a character named Freaky Steve, a dark-skinned brother with a gap between his teeth. That's my little brother Ishtar. He's from Milwaukee. We live in Atlanta now. But long story short, Ish don't rock with everybody. He got a big following. He's 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 out there doing his thing. He don't he didn't need me, but due to the fact that I endear myself to young people and I'm receptive, I'm receptive to the fact that um I don't know everything. I know a lot, but the minute you start thinking you know everything, you might as well go hop in the box, man. You dead. And that's the way the young people will treat you. So I'm not going to talk down to young people for making what they what they want to make. I'm just going to get in my bag, grab my NPC Renaissance, my mic, and I'm going to do my thing. And I'm going to show them I'm going to show them like how we did it back in 80. It's going to fast forward to 2020. So that's what I do. And it's been successful. It's, it's every day is Yeah, every day we gain the momentum. I don't got time to put. I love it. Somebody put. Yeah, you don't got no. You don't got no time to put you put put nobody down for what they do. That's their that's their take on hip hop. Let them have it, and you just do you. That's the right way to be, man. You know, I appreciate that. You know, hearing some of the people who we admire talking down to these new artists, it's really refreshing to have a seasoned artist such as yourself really embracing, like you said, their interpretation of what hip hop is. Before we move forward in what you're currently doing and what you got going on, I still have a couple more questions from before because you have such a rich history. Can you tell us a little bit about um, Arrested Development and your part in that? Absolutely. Um, oh. Speech, yeah, Speech has been my brother for <laughs> since high school. Speech has been my brother since um, since like high school. Um, speech is from originally from Atlanta, from Milwaukee, not Atlanta. So Speech. Um, and I have known each other since the beginning, like I want to say like 85, 86, we've been we've been cool. So um I'm also very fortunate to work with with the rest of development. Like back in the day, I want to say like 94, 95, he had just put out his uh, second album um after after the the plat the, the multi-platinum smash, he came back with another album and it also went platinum. But um on that second album. He had he made a song called Ease My Mind. That was a single that he put out called Ease My Mind. So on the A side, Ease My Mind was was Ease remixed by DJ yeah. Pre- I remember exactly. That one. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. And so Rabito, if you can hunt down that, that vinyl, I'd like to see it because on the A side is the remix which features speech and DJ Premier. On the B side, a song called Africa's Inside Me. I did that remix. So all that to say this, I've been cool with, with Rose forever. 
Yeah, I've, I've been rocking and rolling, man. I just, I, I just, um, I have my ebb and flow. I have my peaks and valleys, but I'm back full fledged. I'm not looking back now. But anyway, um, I produce. How dope for- is it that it's the B side and you're on the B side? Yeah, I love right? that. With, with Primo. With Primo. And with Primo. With Primo. And I'm, and I'm, and I'm, and I'm, and I'm, and I'm on B side right now. So that's, that's mad dope. Um, but I yeah. love it. Here we go. We speak. We fast forward to 2000, late 2018, going into 2019. Um, speech had he just re- released. He just released his first record in 14 years, but he's still going strong. He still has a massive following overseas, especially places like Asia, Australia, um, the UK. He's banging out over there. People don't. People think that like it's over, like it's over with just because America is fickle in terms of their musical taste, but he's still kicking major, major, major ass overseas. So he saw music that I had started putting out, um, like a song called Bipolar, a song called Laugh At You. And he was like, Twine, I'm getting you overseas. We gonna work together. And I mean, that's exactly what's happened. I haven't made it overseas yet. I would actually be over coming back from, from, um, from Amsterdam right now. But in a nutshell, I've done two sold out shows with Arrested Development last year at the City Winery, um, introducing myself to Atlanta. All that is by the hand of my brother Speech from Arrested Development. I'm on the new album that Speech just released. Um, um, he just put out the first the first portion of that album uh, called Expansion. And I'm actually on a song with him and a brother uh, named Rambo. So that'll be coming out soon. Um, and we just have nice. so many things. Yeah, we got a lot of things in the works. Like. I'm, um, God willing, if this once this Corona lets up, he's got shows planned for October uh, again at the City Winery, um, like four sold out shows. So I'm pretty sure that I'll be a part of that. Um, and, but you know, all that is based on the fact that whatever happens with this Corona thing. So yeah, very good friend of mine, one of the most, one of the dopest performers, one of the dopest. He's he and I mirror each other in that speech is a producer, he's a singer, he's an MC. And he's a DJ. I'm a beatbox. I hope we MC. can. Uh, I'm a producer. I hope we can set something up. Maybe do a little uh, one-off show out here in LA. Maybe y'all can come through and come to the radio station this time and the B-side show and uh, debut that song with us. That would be amazing. Danny, mine is yours. Whatever, however, if, if, if it's in the cards, if God makes it so, you know I'm down for you because you've That's been down right. for me since like. You've been working, you've been rocking with me since since I jumped it off and me and you got cool. You my sister, you know that. So if I if any anything I, I can do. You, to man. That's facts though. That ain't no gas. That's you treated me like and you know you, what? You Juan, check this yeah. out. I gotta tell you this. So we got a normal resident DJ that comes and really holds it down for us. He's a partner now on the B side because he's really been an integral part of the last you know, year that's been going by. So DJ Eclipse is in the chat right now. Shout out to Eclipse, man. We love you and appreciate you. He's got that 12 inch vinyl that you were just talking about. I know, I just see, it, it, it bug, that bugs me out. That's me on the, that's me on the B side, Eclipse. And if you got, if you can help me find, um, cause I don't even have a copy of that. If, if you can help me find a record store out in LA or somewhere where I can buy, I buy like five copies of that, 10 copies of that, bro. I just, I haven't seen that record since like 95, 96, bro. I haven't seen that record in, over 25 years but yeah i got a history i i'm 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 fully immersed in this demonstration i'm not just you no know, i'm not a new jack by what by any means whatsoever whatsoever hey our dj's really beyond that well i got a network of diggers so we'll all be looking out for that including rabbit huh hey hey <laughs> and check want. it and check it uh, that that's the thing like we were talking at the beginning of the interview like you know i, I i'm kind of kind of uh taking this in and enjoying the time to to wind down and chill a little bit still you know i want to get back to work obviously and all that but um the thing i do miss like what you were mentioning hopefully we can get back what i do miss is going to live shows because that's what we did a lot of and that i i miss that because that's that just that vibe bro you know what i mean robbie they they they, like i have to have strong faith right now because i was literally on the cusp of going like my plan was to spend, I was going to rock a couple shows in Zurich and then my, okay, so that was going to be the 2nd and the 4th of April. And then the 6th of April was my birthday. I was going to be, I was going to be in, uh, in, in Amsterdam for that. I was going to spend my birthday in Amsterdam. 
And so it just wasn't in the cards right now. You know what I'm saying? But but like you said, I I'm a I'm a live performer. Like I channel I, I channel KRS one when I'm on the stage. Like I'm that's my forte. Like it ain't I don't just sit in the studio and make music, which a lot of artists, uh, unfortunately, a lot of people are just like studio MCs. But my my lather, I endear myself to the people by tearing up the stage. Hey. So right now I'm 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 this is kicking my ass. Like not being able to go and do a show, but it, it's coming, bro. Happy. Happy belated, by the way, and yeah, and, and that's uh, one day I want to spend one of my birthdays in Amsterdam. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Yo. You know what? The reason why we had to wait on that, we got to do that next year so the B-side can be live at his Hell show yeah. and we can host that Thanks. shit. Right? right? Thanks. And, Thanks. And, yeah, man. And, hey, that's that's real right there, man. We got to get... We got to get to that. Hey, so so look, um, I want, we got to get into this video. Um, we'll let you talk about it and all that. But th this is the one Danny was alluding to earlier. But this shit got that real good energy right here. And this this is where Rap Man comes in too, man. But go ahead and talk to the people about this video right here. Okay, well, I made this song marvelous a, a while back, and I just sat on it. it, it it's produced by myself and my brother Ben Block. My, Music company is called Kareem City. That's myself and Ben Block. So I made the song, but then, um, as like every time I make a song, I have a, I have intention of wanting a video for it. Like I really don't like if I'm gonna put a record out. I really nine times out of ten I want there to be a video. So immediately when I started listening to it, Robbie, I was like, I gotta have a dope video. And the video just the, the song just speaks to me. And it says celebration. It says fun. It says laughs. The the hook is is is, is infectious. So it's like I, I said I developed four scenarios. It's shot by my godson Johnny Hayes, who runs a company called Beyond Entertainment. My my young blood. That's my god. That's my godson. I knew him before he was born. So it's like he and I we work together, man. Like Batman and Robin. I told him my concepts. I told him what I wanted for each scenario, whether it be Mr. Four Twenty slapping that blunt out his hand or my friend Kelsey wanting to go to the club dressed any kind of way and me saying no or my guy Mike wanting to eat a big ass ham sandwich with an artist of mug on that sandwich or the, uh, the Vegas twins, my two guys <laughs> from, from the little nine out and them gambling and shooting with all them hundreds and that man just got a problem with popping up wherever he's not wanted <laughs> wherever he's not needed so I'm thinking that's going to be a thing going forward just have Rap man pop was getting chased every time. Always trying to interject Yo. <laughs> He's like an expert troller, dude. Rap man is like an expert troller. He be trolling on everybody. It's hey. amazing. I you know, I want to see Rap Man come into videos that he doesn't belong in. You know like kind of like crazy. back in the day, like how did he did? On, on Instagram, All in the video. Hey, on Instagram, there's a bunch of expert trollers. That's fucked. That's fucked up. Same <laughs> shit. Hey, shout out to the trolls out there. Hey man, that that's dope shit, man. And and you know one thing uh, before we before we get into the video, I wanted to say one thing that you had you brought up and and for you know maybe up and coming artists that might be watching, uh, someone that you did mention like. If you want, when it comes to live shows, uh, KRS-One is one of them dudes you got to kind of look at what he's doing, man. That dude's still killing it wherever he goes and rocks live, man. You know what I mean? And and another and another dude. My man, Supernatural. Oh, yeah. And and another one of my all-time favorites, still killing stages, uh, Big Daddy Kane, man. Shit. Oh, my God. Hell, yeah. I won't be, I, I won't Stamina be like a motherfucker. I won't be doing none of that though. Yeah. Yo, <laughs> he blowed me away with that though. I, you, I always bring that up when I see artists just standing there. I'm like, man, you ain't got shit on Kane, man. This will run circles around you, bro. Yeah, yeah. No, Kane, is, oh. Kane, Kane, Kane is Kane is a renaissance man to the fullest. Um, I've always admired him. His name is Antonio. My name is Antoine. So uh, I actually had a chance to meet Kane. In, uh, in in Brooklyn a couple years ago at the King's Theater for the Legends of Rap concert. He was just mad, mad cool. And that's like you said, he's still he's still eating cat's food on the stage. A lot of cats, he's, he's a beast. King Asiatic, nobody's equal. He's still one of my favorites, though. And I, and I got to see him rock live back in the day, but I'm hoping 
we can get him back over here in LA pretty soon, man. So, hey, let's, uh, Danny, Indeed. you want to get into this video? This, uh, we'll oh, let, man, I'm so ready for this we'll video, let, man. I, we'll I've been Twan thinking about introduce. this one all day. <laughs> You're right. I'm, 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 I'm rap, man. Let's do it, man. I'm here to save, I'm here to save hip hop one beat and rhyme at a time. I'm rap, man. I'm not going nowhere. Um, Superman had Clark Kent. Twan Mac is rap, man. Uh, shouts out to Leah. For, for, for helping me bring rap man to the world. And this is just the Love beginning. You, he must be popping up. I can't wait to have him come to hey, hey, I can't have him, I can't wait to have him pop up on like some some of the homies in LA and get chased down the LA alley or some shit. <laughs> hey, fixing some graffiti, huh? Fixing some murals Same and shit. shit. Same <laughs> shit. I gotta have it. I gotta have it. I, I gotta do it. I'm doing it's it. It's gotta happen. <laughs> we doing that. Yeah, it's gotta we happen, doing man. That. We'll be out of this lockdown Shout out to soon. Eclipse and Napalm in the chat, man. They're like ready for this video like a motherfucker. <laughs> love, love Eclipse, love Napalm, man. Thanks for the support, y'all. Yeah, let's go, man. This is the new one. Uh, this is called Marvelous right here, right? Absolutely. Yes, that's right. Let's go. Shay Whitey in the, on the boards. Shout out to Shay, man. Holding it down on the engineering and technical side. And it do not really matter what I'm calling this. You ask a brother, how do I feel? I feel marvelous. I feel marvelous, marvelous, marvelous. I wrote all of this, all of this, all of this.
know, the thing is that uh, he didn't like me, I didn't like him, you know, and, uh, you know, he felt this story that he could knock me off, I mean, knock me out, and that's what he thought, so, you know, it all turned around, he picked around, and I finished it for him. Listen, I was feeling pretty good and wrote all of this You ask your brother how do I feel, I feel marvelous The immortal Bob James wrote Nautilus You ask your brother how do I feel, I feel marvelous And it do not really matter what I'm calling this You ask your brother how do I feel, I feel marvelous I feel marvelous, marvelous, marvelous I wrote all of this, all of this, all of hey, this Hey yo, step into a brother like me can prove fatal I'm always trying to pre the war like I'm NATO I like to keep a smile on my face but don't play though My rhyme is basically concrete and yours play though Build a tour, get spun Sponsorship and track the globe similar to Gilligan. I'm not the type that like when the villain win. Similar minds, I'm at the door, let me in, yo. Yes. I was feeling pretty good and wrote all of this. You ask your brother, how do I feel? I feel marvelous. The immortal Bob James wrote Nautilus. You ask your brother, how do I feel? I feel marvelous. And it do not really matter what I'm calling this. You ask your brother, how do I feel? I feel marvelous. I feel marvelous, marvelous, marvelous. I wrote all of this, all of this, all of hey, this. Hey, yo, step to the step to the step as you levitate. You never seen Twine back on stage, man, I've been a great. I never had issues with chicks, heard you been a date. You say that you cold and you swole, but just sin. Integrate. Pause for the cause, lyrics broke all laws Gauze for your jaws, cause you're not that raw Let a man better than most all of y'all Veteran, green-eyed MC, y'all I was feeling pretty good and wrote all of this You ask your brother, how do I feel? I feel marvelous The immortal Bob James wrote Nautilus You ask your brother, how do I feel? I feel marvelous And it do not really matter what I'm calling this We're back in here, B-Side Show Every single Monday night This is the Oracle Edition With Danny K, Danny California Sister D, and uh, we got Twan Mac in the, in the building. Twan Mac. We're zooming in the Zoom building. Hey, man, um, another dope visual. That's right, though. quarantine status. Yeah, quarantine status. But another dope visual, bro, and that's, that's you know, uh, commend you for that because that's part of the process, man. You want to be in – some people don't, I guess, take the entertainment part serious enough and – and uh, you know, I mean, give give the people something that's entertaining, and that was. It's it's a it's a call it's a calling card, Rob. Like you you um, you are able to knock down certain doors and open and break through certain ceilings when you have visuals to go along with your music. Um, reach out to people overseas, like um, in the, in 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 setting things up to get booked for shows. I send people the video and before the conversation before i actually sent the video the conversation was a little bit standoffish but once they see the visuals and they get a chance to embrace like who you are and what you're about it, it changes the whole dynamic of the conversation and the possibilities so um from a not just from an entertainment standpoint but also from a business standpoint it's critical uh, i mean everybody can't get videos done so i ain't trying to like seem all high and mighty i just happen to be in a position where my godson is a great videographer I I'm I make music and the music the minute I make the song I'm automatically thinking about a visual for it so I'm visually creative as well so it's just like the seamless cohesion of being able to have a, a videographer and then also being a thinker myself it makes it a really easy so um any 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 anybody that's emceeing or making music out there if if you can please do make visuals because it'll open a lot of doors for you because it has for me. But, great you know, advice. Great advice. And I do have a question about Bob James. Um, how did you how did you come up with is it somebody that you admire for a very long time or what made you incorporate that Bob James sample? So you heard so there isn't actually any samples in the record, but I, there's that record is all is all live, the beatbox and everything. But the inspiration comes from Bob James. So Danny, I know I'm I know I'm I know I'm preaching to the crowd. I know this is a dumb question for everybody in the room, but have you heard Daytona 500 by Ghostface Killer? Have you heard <laughs> have you heard have you heard Peter Piper by Run DMC? Yeah. Okay, well both of those records um, among the thousands of other hip hop records made are sampled from Bob James, one of the greatest jazz pianists of all time. So he's somebody that I've admired since I was a child. Um he's he's still touring the world. Um He's performed with everybody from Chick Corea to David Sanborn to you name it, like Quincy Jones, everybody and anybody and everybody. Bob is the man. So I put him in a chorus because Nautilus, the, the record Nautilus is one of the most sample records of all time in hip hop history. Um, and so 
I wanted to show him some love, but I didn't want to sample because Bob is about his business. So many people have sampled his record and not taken care of the business with him, that the business part of him. I didn't want to disrespect him like that. So I just included him in on the record. Once I made the record, I reached out to him. He doesn't really, he, he doesn't have a big social media following. He could easily have millions of followers. That's how great Bob is. Like he's respected on all seven continents. But um, unbeknownst to me, like I didn't think he would respond, but I just took a shot in the dark and he got right back to me. I told him I was making a song. Um, I let him, I let him uh, hear the song. He loved the song. I, I let him see the video. He loved the video. In the video, I'm wearing a, a, a Bob James t-shirt uh, that pays homage to his first album, Bob James One, which is where Nautilus comes from. Um, he loved that. And now he's agreed because I'm also a writer for Weekly Rap Guys because I'm a journalist as well. So I'm also a writer for Weekly Rap Guys. So he's agreed to do an interview with me at some point. So it's just a dream come true. I never expected it. I, I didn't, I would have been fine with him just being happy just to see the video, but to have him actually respond and now to have a weekly conversation with one of the greatest jazz pianists of all time, it's a, it's a dream come true. And to actually have him like the record is even, is even like, that's like the cherry on top of the Sunday. Yeah, he doesn't respond to many people, right? I, re I remember you alluding to that. He and does. he actually, like, kind of gave you the seal of approval on that. Oh, my God. I, I got the, I saved the text messages like like, like I was, like it was a Christmas present, because that's what it is to me. It's, it's a present because, like I said, this is a world-renowned artist. Like, he's touched every continent. I'm probably, he probably performed in Antarctica at some point. But this is this is a somebody when it comes to music, and it's not that I it's not that I like I belittle myself as a musician or as a hip hop. Or no, I don't do that. But somebody that you look up to, like who do you look up to, Dan? Who do you look up to that you just deify? Who do I look up to? Rob, you can answer. Wow, you can answer. You can answer. You can answer the same question, Rob. I mean, these are some of the people that I would like. Yeah, I would like to sit down in a room and have a conversation, like people like Ice Cube and uh, shit. Who else? Uh, even Jay Z. Like, there's certain. I, I want to talk about how they, you know, took what they had and turned it into different right. avenues. To me, that's that. That's what interests me. You know, taking you. Queen you got, Danny. What, Danny, did you get yours yet? Who do you admire, Danny? Are we talking about in hip hop? Just period, just in, in culture okay. period. Who, so who? Just period in life right now. I look up to your girl, Leah, man. She's a boss. I think she's amazing. That's that's somebody that I really admire. But if we talk in hip hop, I think Dell is a motherfucking G, man. This fool transcends generations, bro. Like, I want to talk to this guy. Mr. Bob Dabalina himself, right? So, so, Yo. so, <laughs> right. So, that, so, that, so that's what I'm saying. Like, so... That's how I feel about Bob James. Like the I've like every any he's just a master of music. And then to find out that he's a good person and he agreed to do a an interview with me, I'm like, wow, blew me away. So I'm just very happy. This is a, a, a musical experience. It's an expedition, a beautiful journey. Um, and what and I have to, I'm an only child, so I'm very impatient. And I've learned as I've gotten older not to be as important, but I say all that to say this. Marvelous is a is a is just starting out. It's not even a month old yet. So I have to convince myself that, Danny, because I want the record to be number one right now. I didn't curse on the record. I don't demean women. There's no gangsterism. So I want the record to be number one right now. But I'm realizing it takes time. Like grasshopper, it takes time. That's what I have to tell myself. Like, bro, yeah. chill out. Just just continue to work the record. Get the record and the video in the right hands, and it'll get where you want it to go. And that's what that's what I have to tell myself every day that I wake up out of bed. Because every day I want I want thirty million streams for Marvelous. I want I want twenty million people to see Marvelous the, the same way that they see in a lot of this material that other artists are putting out. But I know it'll it'll get there because I'm not gonna quit. That's dope. Man. That's dope. That's yeah, really dope. That, the 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 contents there, man, and the the dope visuals and everything. Uh, I, want, I wanted to ask any, uh, you know, let them know where they can get at you and all that stuff, the best spots to check out your music and everything. Absolutely. I'm on, um, if you want to find me on, on Facebook, I have a support page. I'm on there as my government, Antoine Mack. But if you want to find me and support my page, you can go to Twan Mack, T-W-A-N-M-A-C-K. 
M is in Michael, K is in kangaroo, E is in Edward, Twine Mac, MKE, no spaces. It don't matter how, if you uppercase it or whatever. That's my support page on, on Facebook. If you want to find me on Instagram, which is where I predominantly am, because that's how me and Danny got, got plugged in. That's how I met yeah. y'all is, is, the, is the gram. So Instagram, I'm on Instagram as Twine Mac, T-W-A-N-M-A-C-K 24, Twine Mac 24. I also have an up and coming Twitter, even though I have a small number of followers. I'm on Twitter as Twine Mac, T-W-A-N-M-A-C-K. If you want to find me and listen to my music, I'm on all I'm on all streaming platforms, uh, Tidal, um, 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 Spotify, Apple Music, Amazon, Deezer, you you name it, and just look up Twine Mac. However, make sure that you differentiate between me and a and a, and a brother that's from Cleveland, because he has a little bit different of outlook on hip hop in terms of the things that he talks about. I won't get into it, but um, he also calls himself Twine Mac. But I'm Twine Mac from Milwaukee. Uh, Kareem City music. So make sure that you differentiate between the two because otherwise I don't want anybody hitting me up saying, Twan, I thought you were so positive, but you talking about home invasions at four in the morning. But So that's not me. I'm not that guy. So um, yeah, that's how you can find me. And then if you want to check out the, any of my visuals, I have a, a YouTube channel. Just look up Twan Mac. Again, just make sure that you that you, that you you find the guy from Milwaukee, though, because I'm not from Cleveland. And, and um and all my, I got like nine, ten videos up there as well. Hey, feel good shit right there. And you know what? Um, when when all this shit hopefully gets lifted soon, um, uh, when you can't make it this way, man, make sure you jump. You know, come to the B side studio, man. You already know. Absolutely it. mandatory. Mandatory. Y'all family. Y'all family. Y'all y'all invited me to y'all family. I'm inviting y'all into mine. It's a uh, that's the first place that I'm going. Y'all got to show me. I haven't I haven't been to L.A. since I performed at the Jamaica House back in the day. We, uh, Whoa, are you serious? Yeah. Yo, I might have some footage of you. Performed at the Jamaica House. Easy e was standing From right Jamaica in front of us. Jamaica House. My, yeah, and then um, what was that place called? It was called Earth. Was it the Good Earth? No, like Good health. Life. The Good Life. Leah always be correct. Yeah. When I say that. But it, it, we, we the good life too. Yeah. I um, got to drink support. again to that, well, man. I thought let's, I was let's... done, but I'm going to take yeah. another one. That's right. That That's what keeps at the he good life. Oh. And we, Dan, he got we, a big old we, bottle. We, over we rocked there. out at the good life. Yeah. Well, we, we rocked out. See, the, um, the brother Jeff Jeff is a really good guy. He's a really uh, hell of a dude. And so he brought my group out. Like I said, the, the video that was on drums, man. Def Jeff. That's the that's 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 the that's the man right there. Jeff is a real a real hundred percent times a hundred percent times a hundred percent times a hundred percent type dude. And he blessed us. He brought my group out there because he liked us that much. And he he we performed in front of Easy E at the Jamaica House. We performed at, at the Good Life with Funky Town Pros back in the day. Um, I don't even know if it was Freestyle Fellowship there, but I think a lot of them was there. But, um, they were yeah, there. You're right about that. Yeah, yeah. So I, I know I've been to LA, but my re my reintroduction to LA, the 2020 2021 version, I needed. It's going to come from Danny. It's going to come from, from Rob. It's going to come from Leah. So I'm, and it's going to come from my bro, my homeboy Razcast. That's the that's the big homie right there. I love Raz like cook food. Me and Raz got songs together, a video together that's going to be coming out at some point this year. But yeah, that's the homie. Supernatural is the homie. Yeah, I love all them dudes. Them dudes be showing mad love when they don't even have to. They be all showing mad love. So B side alumni right there, man. They all been by the show at, at some yeah. point. Hey, that's the brothers. Yeah. Hey, yeah, hey, them uh, the homies. Brother. Any shout outs, man? Before we, uh, uh, you know, get off this interview, at, um, and and definitely yeah, when you come, when you come into town, we gotta have you come by. But any shout outs you wanna make, man? I want to shout out B-Side for, for being gracious enough to have me on the platform. I want to shout out Leah Palmer for, for, for helping me in this journey. I want to shout Leo. out my man, Ant-Man, Lamp Ant, Ant, Ant put the battery in my back, and and, and, and he's, always re he's always encouraging me. He's a brother here in Milwaukee that's by way of Staten Island that um, does a lot of big things. I want to shout out my mom, because without her, I wouldn't be here. Um, Chuck Chill Out, the big homie from the Bronx, DJ Legend, you understand? Um, and just uh, speech, hip hop in general. Uh, everybody that that love real hip hop and want to see it, and wants to see it continue on the vertical incline, and is doing everything that they can to, to improve it. That's what I want to do. Those are people I want to shout out. 
That's right. beautiful, man. Thank you so much for your presence, yes. your contribution to our culture and our music. I am so looking forward to the future with you. I can't wait till you come to LA. Me and Leah, you already okay, know we're gonna we take you out. We're gonna eat good. We're gonna chill. We also we're gonna we're gonna rock the stage. We're gonna turn up. That's right. Leah, hey, hey, uh, Danny, remember our studio used to go with a spear. Yes, yes. Ooh, 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 ooh. Look at that. <laughs> <Speaking of party. laughs> hey, man. I'm having fun, y'all. This Thanks for fun. chopping it up with us, man. That was a good interview, and uh, hopefully the people got something, you know, uh, that haven't heard of you. Go check out what you're doing, man, because, uh, man, that's definitely that feel-good stuff, and uh, we, we need to hear more of that, especially in these times, man. You know what I'm saying? Everybody stay safe. Wash your hands. Um, get some exercise, miss, uh, exercise your mental every day and stay out the way. That's what I'm doing. Um, I, I'm, I, I'm, yeah, get some vitamin D. If you can, get, go, stand, go stand outside and stretch your limbs and get some sunshine, especially out there because Leah, be, Leah been poking me. She's like, it's, it's 80 degrees out here today. I'm like, I don't want to hear that. I live in the Midwest. It's still 80, <laughs> 80, 80 degrees. I don't want to. She be getting, Leah be giving it to me every day like, it's it's, it's, it's 90 today. Yeah, we were in a I'm tank like, top today, today, brother. Oh, it was cool. eight that, in man. the morning, and it's already <laughs> 80 degrees, eight in the morning. You know what I'm saying? But before we close out, I just want to say shout out to Twan Mac, shout out to Nostalgic Visuals Apparel, your clothing line. And I appreciate you, man. I really do. I can't wait to see what else you come up with and what you're going to do while you're in this quarantine. I know you're doing some shit in there. I know you are. I'm working Get busy. I, I'm about, I'm ready. To, I'm I'm pulling me and my guy son. I'm pulling out the green screen. I'm about to shoot another video called Veteran. You are gonna love that. Yeah, I'm That's I'm rocking dude. and rolling, Danny. I don't know how to I don't know how to quit. That's the name of one of my songs. I, and quit and quit and quit and no are not in my vocabulary. They shouldn't be in either of yours. It's not in my vocabulary. That's they, right. They don't exist. That, those ain't words. They ain't words. Nah. They don't exist. Can't can't ain't a word either. No nah, facts. Actual facts don't exist. So, yeah. so thank, thank you, you, sir. Hey, we love you, man.